Welcome to our channel, Channel Today. We have an important topic to discuss for all you dual boot enthusiasts out there. If you have a Windows and Linux dual boot system and find that your computer boots directly into Windows without showing the grub menu, don't worry, we've got you covered. In this video, we will guide you through the steps to fix the grub not showing issue and regain access to your Linux operating system. But before we begin, let's quickly understand what grub is and why it is essential for dual boot systems. Grub, or the Grand Unified Bootloader, is a bootloader widely used in Linux distribution. It allows users to choose between different operating systems installed on a computer during the boot process. By default, Grub should display a menu with the option to select either Windows or Linux. However, sometimes, due to certain changes or updates, the Grub menu might not appear, causing the system to boot straight into Windows. Installation is complete. Restart your computer. Remove the installation media. That is the USB disk before you restart the computer. Sometimes you will find that after a successful installation the computer will still boot straight into Windows 11 without showing you the boot menu. I will show you how you can fix this problem. So when the dual boot menu is not showing and you can't boot into Ubuntu this is how you fix the issue. Open the command prompt and run it as administrator. Type the following command and press enter. You'll see a prompt informing you that the operation was completed successfully. I have already run the command myself so I want press enter and run it again. Open the advanced settings. You can also configure the default operating system in startup and recovery. But in most cases it will only show Windows 11 and no Ubuntu. Just make sure the time to display list of operating systems is set to 30 seconds. Next disable the Windows Fast Startup option. The Windows Fast Startup option, also known as Fast Boot or Hybrid Boot, is a feature introduced in Windows 8 and continued in Windows 10 and now in Windows 11. It aims to reduce the time it takes for a computer to start up and shut down by saving the operating system's current state to a hibernation file upon shutdown. When Fast Startup is enabled, instead of performing a complete shutdown, Windows saves the system state to a file called and then uses that file to restore the system state upon startup. This allows Windows to bypass certain initialization steps and resume operations more quickly. Restart your computer if the boot menu does not show up boot into Windows and then come run this command then restart your computer and try again. Don't run it now just reboot and see if the boot menu will show up. When you see the boot menu then everything is now okay. Thanks for watching please like the video and subscribe to my channel. This will help my channel to grow.